morning. What is up, guys? Um, I cannot see <laughs> you, but you can see me. Um, the sun is bright. It is 35 degrees right now. I think it's supposed to get warmer. And it is about 8.40 in the morning. Um, I have my tea here that tastes like coffee, kind of, uh, with my stevia in it. And I'm on my way to my psych appointment. Of course, today I feel normal as all get out. Like, I could have a decent conversation with you. More on the hypo side, um, but I'm feeling moments of um, weird thoughts. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel normal basically. So, of course, the day that I go to the psych appointment, I feel pretty normal. So, uh, I like to downplay my symptoms a little bit. The reason I'm going today is I believe, I don't know for sure, um, we talked about it last time, but I don't think the Lamotrigine is working anymore. I'm on the highest dose, like I say, um, and then I'm on Zoloft, uh, like a small dose of it. Um, she tried to increase that and it made me super angry. So I think um, her plan of action is uh, to get maybe a another mood stabilizer or she talked about like Latuda and I am pretty new to the bipolar community but I think it's important for me to get my voice out there. I don't know what Latuda does. Um, I don't know if it's an antidepressant or a mood stabilizer or what. I'm sure many of you guys know and many of you guys have had experiences with this. Um, the, the thing she said scared me. She's like, you know it can cause a lot of weight gain. And I'm like, okay, well I don't want to do that. I mean, I don't, I don't mind having like an extra couple of pounds on me, but 30 extra pounds at, you know, my size uh, will cause a big difference. And I've worked very hard to maintain a level of comfort that I'm at. Um, especially after having a baby, ladies, you know that your body never goes back to the way it was before. Um, so, uh, Sometimes I have body issues, of course, just like everyone else. Um, that, not just like everyone else, but, you know, I think everybody is insecure about something on their body. And I think that that's okay. I think that um, if you felt like you were a perfect human being, I don't know if I would want to know you really <laughs> um, because I know for 100% that there is no perfect person on this earth I have no room to judge anyone I don't think anybody else has room to judge anyone else either um, that's just my my take on it uh, I feel like you know there's definitely people that disagree on topics but there is no right or wrong way. I mean, there really isn't. Um, I don't know, guys. I think that people definitely look into things a little bit too much and think that their way is right and try to get people on their team or whatever. Um, I just don't uh, agree with that. So, me not agreeing with that is showing you that I'm not perfect. So, I am nervous about this psych appointment. I start talking a little bit faster. Um, I don't know what's about to happen. Usually, I would take one of my anxiety medicines. Uh, however, I try not to do that when I go to see her. Um, cause I want it to be like a raw experience. I want to be able to 
um, explain my emotions as accurately as I can. Um, but I'm extremely nervous. Like, I feel like I'm going to throw up a little bit. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what she says whenever I get back. Um, I hope that I can go to the store and get some kombucha. Kombucha? Uh, which I love. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I could drink that all, all day, every day. Um, so I'm excited for that. And then I have this thing with my son after, what is that? Oh, after uh, school, I usually give him a piece of gum uh, and I'm out. I've been out for three days, I think. So I need to go pick some of that up. That's what I have for today. Definitely excited about the kombucha. Nervous about the appointment, but I hope you are well. That is what I hope. Um, please know that I try to not judge as much as I possibly can. I love everyone on here. Whether you like me or not, if you come across this video, I still love you. My love is strong each day, every day, and I hope you are fucking fantastic. So, that's what I have. I'm about 15 minutes away. I'm going to shut you guys off for right now, and it'll be like just a quick second before for you guys before I get back on here. Um, but I'm going to shut, shut you guys off for a second and go listen to some music and I will see you guys in just a second with the results or whatever she tells me. So I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, just got out of there. I am definitely feeling normal. Um, she definitely said that my symptoms are more related to my PTSD and that I need to tr see like a, a trauma therapist and I called some therapy people um, last week or the week before then and trying to trying to just get into somebody and I was playing phone tag with them. So, you know, when you're ready to talk, they're not available. And when they try to reach out to you, you're not available. So, um, I guess I'm going to go and try to search online and see if I can figure out somebody that I'm comfortable with and that will actually take my insurance. Um, it's kind of a relief though to hear her say that my medicine doesn't need to be changed um, because I'm scared of the withdrawal and the new symptoms that come along so and the, the weight uh, gain or loss I like to be where I'm at. Um, so that's very exciting to me. Um, now the PTSD, I'm just like, why can't I get over this stuff? This stuff I can get over. This is not like a life sentence thing. It's just going to take very intensive, uh, type of therapy. And I don't really trust anyone. <laughs> you guys are the person that I trust basically the most besides, um, my husband and my mom and my son so thank you for that um talking to a complete stranger especially when we have a business here and my face is kind of plastered 
all over things I don't want to um, I guess mix mix that uh, it's a fear of being judged really I think is what it is and I'm just gonna have to get real with myself and I'm very excited that I don't have to change the medicine I'm really excited about that um, now the uh, lorazepam I'm still taking when I get anxious before I go out in public um, which is awesome um, like tomorrow night, I'll have to probably take it because my son has a concert. There's going to be a whole slew of people in there, plus uh, Chase's mom and grandma are going to be there, and my mom's going to be there, and I just, I get super anxious for some reason when they're all three there. I don't know why. Um, but, and then the day after that is grandparents day, so, um, I do get kind of nervous about, uh, people coming in, into the, like, I just don't like the unknown. I don't know if any of you guys feel that way. If I had to have a nine to five normal style job, which is um, communicating with people on a daily basis, like all, all jobs require communication. There are certain ones that I can handle, I think, and then there's other ones that I can't. Uh, my husband takes the phone calls uh, within our business. I will have no problem answering emails um, or tickets or creating like work orders, all the paperwork. I could do that stuff all day long. When it comes to taking phone calls or um, a lot of times in the summer, I'll have to uh, go help like stain decks and uh, I have to go paint and then that sometimes the the homeowners are not home and then sometimes they are and the ones that are like they're super nice you know um, like I have no complaints about it whatsoever but it still makes me nervous that I'm going to say the wrong thing or somebody's gonna know somebody that you know knows my past and just kind of anxious feeling so that is my update. Not a whole lot to change. Um, I just need to try to see a therapist. And that's going to be tough all on its own. So, yep. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, night, wherever you are. If you're not feeling loved today, you are very much loved by me. You already know this, man. So, I'm getting ready to hit one of the banks. So, I'm going to let you guys go and... You know, I'll be thinking about you. I hope you have a great day, night, afternoon, wherever you're at. I love you guys. Bye.